Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles right here in Mansfield, Texas. I'm here today to show you probably one of my favorite body styles of all time. 1969 Chevelle El Camino. And this one has air conditioning. It's got the original style Frigidaire compressor. Not an aftermarket Chinese compressor. The motor was swapped to a 454 and it's a pretty mild 454. It's got plenty of torque and plenty of power but it's set up to drive it with luxury along with power steering and again air conditioning and electronic ignition. It's got power disc brakes up front and a beautiful red paint job. It's an older restoration but it's been kept inside and it's been kept really nice. It's got a really nice black interior with the bucket seats. A lot of these El Caminos have the bench seat so it's kind of nice to see a console dual bucket seat set up. And if you'll notice right here it does have a crack in the console. I just want to point it out. The radio is an aftermarket uh, cassette little digital readout but whoever painted this did a really nice job all the door jams door panels look great all the stainless bright work looks fantastic the emblems are nice the bed looks good it's really a, a beautiful job it's got some polished torque thrust wheels which were popular about I want to say 15 20 years ago makes it somewhat error correct but it's just real clean under the hood the uh, fender wells you can tell the car was taken apart refinished and then put back together they even painted the hood hinges and the springs it's got the insulation under the hood love that front end it's just a really cool ride runs and drives good. The air is blowing cold. Let's start it up. It does have a Grant aftermarket steering wheel. Tilt steering column. The exhaust is a set of Flowmasters. It's got a good sound. Just kind of walking down the side here showing you how straight it is. Got the, the backup lights integrated with the tailgate. The exhaust runs back to the bumper. They did leave the 10 bolt rear end. A lot of factory big blocks came with 12 bolts. But for just driving it around, it's fine. If you want to put slicks on it and a big cam, you might want to put a 12 bolt in it. It's got the 454 emblems put on the side and in 69 I don't even think they offered a 454 they offered a 396 and maybe a 427 but they kept the vintage look under the hood with the chrome valve covers the aluminum intake it's just very clean very well done and I've mentioned this before but I love that they still have the uh, Harrison Frigidaire compressor which was more it's a horsepower robbing compressor but it's a very good compressor and it just looks looks more correct the air cleaner is not correct but it looks nice it's got the Chevrolet bow tie on it all the hoses and belts everything looks very fresh but it's just a really pretty El Camino. One you can drive around and enjoy. And if you want to burn a little rubber, you certainly can. That motor's got plenty of torque. Just kind of want you to see the roof. It's all slick. The moldings are nice. It's just a really good El Camino. You can enjoy this summer. Brought to you by Texas Best Used Motorcycles right here in Mansfield, Texas. 
we can ship anywhere in the USA and actually anywhere in the world. But if you have any questions, give us a call. We'd love to sell you this beautiful El Camino. And we do have the name of the guy that did the work, the paintwork. Um, Milts Automotive in right here in Arlington, Texas. He might actually be in Pantigo, Texas. Well, we called Milt. He remembered the El Camino, but he said he didn't remember a lot of the specifications because he's he's put a lot of cars together over the years. But he definitely does remember this one. But thanks for looking. Thanks for your time. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails and hope to see you in our showroom soon. It's a great little El Camino.